Good morning, folks. We've got some excellent articles today, including some I've been waiting to see for a while now. We've got an end of summer special for you as well, but we are starting with our star, where the coronal hole is crossing central heliographic longitudes. The eruptive activity continued on the south and the incoming limb. Neither one of those is going to impact Earth. With the northern flare-making sunspot departed, the focus is indeed squarely on the south, sunspots, plasma filaments, and that incoming region which produced the eruption this morning. While we await the enhanced solar wind from the coronal hole, we're already taking a little bit of an enhancement the last 24 hours. Purple line rising is already preconditioning Earth's magnetic field, and geomagnetic storms are likely when the coronal hole stream arrives in the middle to latter portion of the week. Up first in the articles, did you know some stars have mountains? They mostly aren't expected to stick around very long, like a constant upheaval of rising and sinking. And just as many of Earth's magnetic anomalies are found at mountainous areas, we see the same thing with those on the stars, where magnetic confinement to the surface features sculpts and modulates the activity in the very face of the star. Up next, a triple from the top Chinese group in the space weather field. Focus in the aviation effect of solar activity, space weather in general, proton events, and solar flares. For anyone monitoring the statistics, these effects are obvious with the ebb and flow of our sun. But in terms of publications, the topic has been more pristine and untouched than most. Impressively, these rock-solid correlations are made during the modern period where solar activity hasn't been huge, nothing like what's coming. And the same can be said for the loss of the 40 Starlink satellites earlier this year. That was barely anything in terms of space weather and geomagnetic effect. But the thermosphere was tremendously impacted. These are the sort of density effects we'd expect to see with much greater solar storms and as we said before, were likely only so bad because of Earth's weaker magnetic field state, allowing for more and more direct impact from weaker space weather and that is only going to continue as well. We greatly appreciate your support. Folks, at our Shopify link below the video, you're going to find everything 20% off. The special goes the rest of this month, applying to our books on space weather, catastrophism, our kids' books, and our merchandise as well. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.